a lot of people have contacted us regarding um, issues with not being able to move forward within the system. Their browser is freezing, them being sent back to previous screens while in the system. And I do have to say that almost always they are issues with your browser. So make sure, number one, your browser is up to date. Number two, um, if you have an issue, sign out of your browser and restart it. But really the first thing that I always recommend is actually just restarting your computer. It almost always solves the problem, okay? So let's go ahead and go into Bakker Auctions on Invaluable. And here I am, there's our auction house, it's all listed here. And I'm already signed in, so if you need to register, it's gonna say login up here, and it'll say register to bid, um, and you'll need to get approved to bid, and getting approved to bid is quite easy unless you have unpaid payments via other auction houses, and you do need to put in a credit card. Um, that's how we do, do charge you um, after several days of not hearing from you. Uh, we try to obtain payment uh, either in person or over phone, um, but we do have the option of charging a credit card if we haven't heard from you in a couple days. Um, but I will be in touch with everybody who wins, and all those uh, payment information is all quite um, visible on all of our contracts and all the invoices. But that is a side note. Let's just go ahead and bid online. We go into our auction. And we're going to pick something to bid on. Let's do this Frank Whiteside. All right. There's already a bid on this, okay? So somebody has bid $150. So I want to put in another bid. So it says leave bid. So, hmm. Let's put in $200. Let's just say, I'm gonna put in 160. I wonder what the interval is. Leave bid. All right, current bid is 150. All right, uh, my max bid is 160. Buyer's premium off of that would be 40. So my total bid would be 200. The winning, what I would have to pay would be 200, plus shipping and taxes, if I win this. It's telling me that if better odds, I should actually really up my bid. I'm welcome to do so, but I can also say no thanks, okay? So clearly, um, I could bid 160, I could be the next bidder. That's not to say that, let's see, uh, I want to be texted if I'm outbid, put my phone number. All right, I'm gonna place my bid, woohoo, oops. I've been outbid by somebody else's max bid. Look at that. All right, so that sort of tells you um, the system is in place that it's not even gonna let me place a bid because somebody else's max bid is above this. So let's go back and do 200, all right? Um, I'm gonna close this screen because I need to update my total. It's now telling me that on $200, the 25 buyer's premium would be 25% would be 50. So I'm gonna owe all this if I win. Still texted, I'm gonna place the bid. This time it went through, all right? So somebody had a max bid of $160, that bid that wouldn't go through. That means my bid is 170, okay? So my max is 200, the bid has been placed, and I'm currently at $170, okay? Now, what do I want to do if I leave the site, I come back in, and I, you know, the screen is gone. I want to go back to my bids. All right. So this tells me exactly where I stand with that particular painting. I am the high bidder. High bidder. Okay. My max bid's 200. I can increase that bid just, you know, if it's a case that I'm going to be away from the computer, I'm not gonna be around December 30th, uh, I'm not gonna be able to come back into the system to, to bid along with other people as they do their last minute bidding. Um, I may want to increase my bid. Okay, and I could put in whatever. Say I really want this painting and I wanna spend $500. I could leave the bid. Go through the same process. Max bid is now 500. I would be paying this if all the bids push me up that high, but it's not necessarily going to happen that way. I could put in 5000 because I really, really want this. But just remember, you're not going to pay that unless somebody bids up 
to the increment before this, okay? It's the only way that you're gonna bid that amount is if somebody else is bidding against you and goes as high as you, okay? The system is slick, it is legitimate and honest. Um, you're not being scammed in any way by putting in a really high bid unless you have, and you only get that, um, you only pay that bid if somebody is bidding up there with you. Okay, text me if I'm outbid. They already have my system, I'm just gonna put this in here. Oh, I need to redo this, I'm not sure why. Five, zero, eight, two, three, seven, eight, four, five, three. Thanks, bid. So the important thing here is just to remember, see I'm still at 170. There have been four bids placed. That just means that people have gone into the system and, and bid, including my last two bids. But what I really want to check is my bids. Okay. I'm still the high bidder, of course. My max bid's 5,000. This is really going to skew our, our info and in, in, uh, our system as if Jim is on the other end looking at, at the bids right now. Um, but what I want to do now is cancel the bid. So you have the ability to cancel your bid at any point. You don't need to give a re reason plus other. Cancel the bid. Done. Easy. All right. So now we can actually go look at the past bids. Hmm. Um, these are past bids from other auction. I don't have any current bids, but I want to go back to, I want to go back to, um, that painting that we just looked at to see what it says now. All right. Okay. So it's back to the starting bid and one bid. Okay. No harm, no foul. We went in, we made bids, we canceled, we came out. My credit card's not being charged for anything. Uh, my bids are canceled. It's a really smooth system. Um, I recommend exploring, looking around, um, and just remembering that even though we do not do absentee bids via the phone or via paper like we do in a traditional auction, auction you have the ability to leave an absentee bid, to leave a max bid, to ensure that you get a painting, or you have the ability to bid against people in a incremental one by one bid level. <clears throat> I hope that helps. Feel free to contact me. Email, phone number 508-413-9758. We'll be happy to help. And that is it. Happy